Oh, what I want to do today is to share with you three strategies and these three strategies, if you put them into practice immediately, what you're going to get is you're going to get somebody that is, um, you're going, you're going to be somebody who can connect someone who can communicate, someone who's going to be able to cultivate the kind of relationships that you want and that you're going to need to communicate with if you're going to be effective. So let's begin. The thing that I'm hoping is at the end, when you look at these three, we talk about these three, that you take a look and you say, yes, you know what? I am actually excited to put those into practice because these are gonna make me just that much more effective there's the excitement. So let's start with the first one. The first one is to create a relationship vision. We all know that organizations need to have um, a vision. If they don't have a vision, it's hard to create a strategy because we don't know what we're heading for. We need to have all those areas of energy moving in the same direction. So we create organizational visions. We create departmental visions. We even create life visions, marriage visions. So I say, if we want to have an organization where trust runs high and tension is low, create a relationship vision. In other words, how do you see yourself interacting? So I am a journaler. So I pulled out my journal and I wrote down what I call the three V's, the visual, the vocal, and the verbal. Now, when I said visual, I mean, if someone were to see me interacting with my daughter, if someone were to see you interacting with someone at work, maybe it's a direct report, maybe it's your boss, maybe it is a, a peer, maybe it's a customer, but whoever that is, if they were to see you interacting, they couldn't hear a word you said, they couldn't hear the tone of your voice. What would they see you doing? What would your behavior look like? What do you want your silent movie to look like? And then how about the vocal? How about the vocal? Those of you that are familiar with Malcolm Gladwell know that he's a researcher who researches other people's research. And he wrote, a probably it was his second book, it's been some years now, but he wrote um, about uh, having visited a insurance organization that did, that determined malpractice for surgeons. And what he discovered was that surgeons don't get sued because they make mistakes. No, they get sued because they make a mistake, but more importantly, because of how they teach, how they treat rather the patient. Do they, um, uh, you know, ignore the patient? Do they not look at the patient? Do they not listen to the patient? Does the patient somehow or another feel as though they're being talked down to? That doesn't go well. But what they found was the most egregious behavior was the physician's tone of voice and the most corrosive tone of voice was a condescending demanding tone of voice so when you look at your relationship and you write it down why is it so important that you write this stuff down well the good book says write the vision make it plain so that he who reads it may run so write these things down and then number three, what do you want your vocals or your vocals to sound like, your verbals to be like? Because words are like powder kegs and they explode into the lives of other people, either for the positive or the negative. What do you want your words to be with the people with whom you work? When they hear you speak, what kind of words will be coming out of your mouth? Will they be words of faith or will they be words of doubt? Will they be words that uplift or words that tear down? Will they be words that give hope? or where they will be words that produce fear. Whatever you want, write it down and review it often. Now, why is it important that you write it down and that you re review it often? Because research shows that if you write it down, you review it often, you have a 55% greater chance of actually acting on what you wrote down. You want trusting relationships, write the relationship vision, make it plain so that when you read it, you will run on it. 